Hello everybody and welcome back to the hospital. Now, through Conflict Nerd I have found out that you can get Corsic theme hospital, which is like HD theme hospital. And why wouldn't we do that, hey? And it's such a pain in the ass getting theme hospital to record. Well, the old one. It's just I didn't feel like spending twenty minutes setting it all up to um, record and then you know I only have like probably about an hour and a half left of recording time today I didn't feel like spending that much time doing that so we are going to play the custom campaign that comes with this because there's no point us playing through the other campaign which we got like halfway through this time we will complete this campaign it's just I was just getting really fed up with spending every time I do a recording session, spending 20 to 30 minutes just trying to get OBS to pick up the hospital. So we're going to try this and this is also going to mean that our videos are going to be a little bit better because we can actually record them in a decent resolution. So. In the cozy town of Coffalot, some very ill patients are in need of medical attention. Luckily, you have been recruited by the Ministry of Health to operate a chain of hospitals in the nation. You have a job of running this quaint clinic on their behalf. To win the level, kill 50 patients, have a bank balance of 25,000, and treat 50% of your visitors, and have a hospital worth 50,000. Oh, that should be really easy. We've done harder than this. Look at this, this is like a proper big hospital. Okay, right, so let's slow down time because we're just, you know, talking through that. Okay, let's see what. Ooh, okay. Hang on. We're not quite there, settings wise. Okay. Options. Um, we'll go and turn down the sound and the announcements and uh, the music. Just a smidgen. Lock windows, edge scroll, and lock windows. I don't know what that does. Don't know, but right now. My start bar is in the way. Back. Warp. Room speed. Oh, you can pause it now. Oh. Edge scrolling. Okay, that turns off edge scrolling. I'd like edge scrolling. Though. It does kind of work. Even though I've got two screens up. Hmm. Okay. We are going to just have to um, quit for a second. Yep. Uh, we want to get into settings. I'm going to turn it on to full screen. Okay. Okay. I'm still picking it up. Okay. So let's start this again. Boop. Boop. Okay. Let us get started. Slow down time. Oh, it's nicely there, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. We'll have one of them, one of them, and the chair. Uh, we want some general diagnostics, and that should fit nicely. Just there, like that. There we go. Yep, so that is looking pretty good. Um, what a psychiatric. We'll make it a square bigger, just so it all lines up nicely. There we go. Yes, I know. Did you not know that I've been playing this game for many years? And then, oh look, that pharmacy fits perfectly there. How good is that? So 
that is our first row of things. Um, we are going to want a ward. Hopefully the ward will fit nicely. Uh, kind of nicely in this space. We do like this bit. We have the doors there. And then we have a ward. Yep. And we're going to get a couple more beds. There we go. Okay, that's what we can get in there. Ooh. I guess we can make it a couple squares bigger. Oh no, hang on. Make it a couple squares bigger. It's going to be quite a big ward, but that's okay. Uh, let's put the desk in first. There we go. Oh. That. 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 Okay. That is our ward. Um, what else do we need just over here? Okay, we need our inflation clinic. Which I might just put here. Seems a bit big, but okay. Maybe it's not. Then we'll have a little drinking area just there. Um, we'll also see if we can get in another GP's office just here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's a bit of a different layout than what I'd normally go for, but it should work quite nicely because you don't have too far to wonder. Uh, facilities. We want to get some toilets. I wonder if we can get... They're not too, like, obtuse, just there, so we'll have them. We'll get... Okay. Uh, we'll get a couple more toilets and a couple more sinks. Okay. And uh, some sinks. Okay. There. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Okay, so we can have a full row on the back. Uh, we might have a row of three, then a row of two, then a row of one. And then we'll have a load of six. Okay. There. Our toilets. It's an interesting design for our toilets. And now we want to get a staff room. So we'll get that and we'll just put it here. There we go. Oh, actually, no. I want to put the door there. Okay. And uh, we will buy a few more things for the staff room. Okay. Get a pool table. Get another sofa. Oh, no. Okay, we wouldn't get the TV. That will do. Okay, we have our basic hospital for now. Okay, so we're going to want a reception desk. We're going to want a whole load of benches. There you go. There you go, about 50 benches. We'll get five drinks machines. We only need one fire extinguisher. We're going to need a whole load of radiators. Probably around 15. We want to get and a couple of plants. There we go. There. Okay, so let's put the reception desk in. We'll probably have it there. Okay. And we will get our first lot of benches in, just around here. There we go. Can we have a double row? No, that's fine. We'll also have some just around here as well. There we go. Okay, so we did not need so many benches, but we'll have a, like a little reception seating area as well. 
just in case we get that busy. I doubt we will, but I think we'll want one more on this side. Okay, so now we want some drinks machines. I'm going to stick one there. Oh no, one won't fit that. But we'll get one there. One won't fit there either. We'll get one just like here. Um, we'll get one there. And we'll also get one by the staff room for now. There we go. Right, we want the fire extinguisher in the room with the machine. Each room is going to want a radiator to help keep it all toasty. There we go. That, we want one in the toilets too, and one in the staff room. We'll also get one outside the staff room. One by this drinks machine, one by these two drinks machines, one um, by the door, and one just here. Okay, let's get some plants in. We're just going to have a nice little load of plants there. We'll also have some by the reception desk. And I think that will do. Okay, it's time to hire our staff. So. Um, what staff do we have available? Do we have anyone else? Psych okay, so we've got one psychiatrist and we need... He's going to be good for our GP's office. That's all we're going to hire for now. She's a good nurse, so we'll have her as well. We're going to just get the three handymen that are available. Because... We're always going to want more handymen. It's a big hospital, so... And then we're going to want the best receptionist we can have. Okay. We are ready to rock. So there we go. We've put it up to normal-ish speed, I think. I don't think we're quite there. But then, is that too fast? I don't know. That seems about right. Maybe. Might be too fast. Then that feels very slow. I want something in between. Okay, but we'll have it on this speed for now. Okay, here is our first patient coming. Apparently we're cold. Well, that's fine. We can sort that out. Let's turn up our heating bell a little bit. Okay. We can, we'll have to put more radiators in when we are... When we are ready. Now, we don't want to go and hire all of our doctors at the same time, because then they'll all go for breaks at the same time. And that is something we do not want right now. I just want to make sure that we're not doing that. Oh dear, I've got something sticky in my hair. Not that you needed to know that, but yes. So here we are. So we've got TV personalities, causes daytime t television, symptoms are delusions of being able to present a cookery show. A trained psychiatrist must convince the patient to sell their TV and buy a radio. Well, there you go. They've got to buy a radio. Ooh, wrong buttons. There you go. We've cured our first patient. Awesome. And we've got our second patient coming through the works as well now. So we'll probably give it until maybe June or July until we hire a couple more doctors. So he's saying he's too hot. Okay, we'll turn down... Oh, he has become a consultant. Okay, but we're also going to um, turn down the heat a wee bit. That's probably where we're at. We'll have it at that. Okay, there we go. Looks like we're getting a nice stream of patients in. So, we have infectious laughter. <laughs> Cause classic situational comedy. Symptoms, helpless chortling and repetition of unfunny catchphrases. A qualified psychi uh, psychiatrist must remind the patient how serious this condition is. That looks like we're doing okay at teasing our patients. How um, are our doctors doing tiredness-wise? Okay, we are going to need to hire a few more. That's fine. He seems like a good one to get. 
so does he. Okay, well, we probably wanted another psychiatrist. I hope there wasn't one. Okay, there wasn't even another psychiatrist. That's fine. And we'll also get ourselves another nurse. So that should be enough staff to keep us going. We have discovered broken wind. Cause using a gymnasium treadmill after a meal. Symptoms are upsetting the people directly behind the patient. The cure is a heavy mixture of special watery atoms is drunk rapidly in the pharmacy. Well, there you go. So now we have enough staff to cover most of this. The only thing is we could have done with another psychiatrist, but there we go. Oh, we probably want a few more handymen, don't we? We will do nicely. We can never have enough handymen. Um, ooh, I knew we'll do. Oh, no, we're out of money. That's fine. Um, gastric ejections. Cause is Mexican, spicy Mexican or Indian food. Something half digested food is emitted from the patient in random clusters. And the cure is drinking a special binding solution prevents anything from being ejected. Mm, delightful. It does look like we're getting there nicely. Getting a few more patients in and around, which is always good. Um, yes, of course, you can visit. Oh, someone is upset with their wages. Of course you can. Okay, so we've got our VIP coming to visit. Yeah, I definitely think we are playing too fast. We'll slow it down a little. But this just seems too slow. That's even faster. I think we'll keep it on four. So our first few doctors are going on their break. Which is okay, you know. People have got to have a break. Ooh, someone else is complaining at us. A oh, handyman. Yeah, of course you can have some extra money. Oh look, we've got a bloody head. There we go. So, person is thirsty. Well, we've got drinking machines. You can just go and walk to one. I don't mind. We have discovered bloaty head. The cause is sniffing cheese and drinking unpurified rainwater. It's very uncomfortable for the sufferer. The swollen head is popped and reinflated to the correct PSI using a clever machine. There you go. So it looks like we've got a few people waiting for the psychiatrist office. Could really probably do with finding someone else to cover that when they're on their break. Which is fine if we had some money, you know. Oh, awesome, we got a, crash, a cash grant for that and our reputation has gone up. Oh, here is our psychiatrist is back and he's like a queue of four people which is... A little bit bad. He's just a very slow walker because he's a junior. And our consultant is going a little bit stir crazy, it looks like. So we've cured 10 people so far. Which is a good number, I'd say. Yeah, we're doing okay. I think having the two GP offices was a good idea. I haven't really seen anyone use the ward yet either, which is fine. I know you're thirsty, but there is drinks machines around. Okay, what is this? Sleeping illness. Overactive sleep ground in the roof of the mouth. Overwhelming desire to crash out everywhere. A high dose of powerful stimulant is a administered by a nurse. Well there you go. Look at all these patients we're getting. Definitely looks like we're doing quite well. Oh. That 
looks like we're getting through these patients, which is always good. Okay, let's see if we can hire another psychiatrist. Oh, yes, excellent. Awesome. You? Before we get complaints, so we don't, we have too many doctors. Okay. Discreet itching. Tiny insects with sharp teeth. Scratching leading to body part information. The patient drinks a pharmaceutical gloopy spirit syrup to prevent the skin from itching. Okay. Oh, there you go. It looks like we've got our hospital running at a nice efficient rate at the minute, which is always pretty nice. Shame the reputation isn't really going up. Maybe it's because people are thirsty. Well, how are we doing level wise? Okay. So, 50 people, we need to cure, and we need some more money. Well, that's okay. We should easily be able to do that now we've got a nice setup going. Oh, a doctor is going for his break. That's okay. Yeah, I definitely think we did the right thing by getting the two GPs offices. You know? Just so people can, you know, make sure that they have good access. So when people aren't on their break, it does mean that we can get through even more patients even faster. Which is always nice. People are going for their breaks and stuff as well. And luckily because we have the people hired at different times, not everyone is going for their break at the same time, which is great. What is our little illness? Uncommon cold. Oh yes. Particles of snot in the air, runny nose, sneezing and discolored lungs. Lovely. A big swig of uncommon cold medicine made from special ingredients in the pharmacy will cure this. Well, who knew? Right. Ooh. Okay, so here is the charts for 2001. We are not the richest, but we have the highest salary. We've cured the most. We've had the most visitors. Hmm. Something seems a little bit off about these little numbers, but that's okay. It's a game that's in development, so... You can't expect it to be perfect. They're richer than me because they haven't built a hospital, is what I'm going to say. That's probably a good way to look at it. Oh, a VIP which is to visit. Yes, that's fine. Of course you can visit. Why don't you go in your room? Which room needs a nurse? Okay, so we've got a VIP coming to visit now. Do we have a doctor wandering around somewhere? I don't think so. But we are missing one from a GP's office. Why don't you, instead of hanging around in there, go in the GP's office? There we go. They must be on their break and I just can't see them. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh dear, the boiler's broken again! That seems to be happening a lot. Right, so we've got a few more doctors going on their breaks. That glitched out a little bit as well. But hey, there we go. Oh, our radiators are working again. You know what, the only problem playing this in HD is the writing is very small. And my poor eyesight does not like that so much. But that's okay. Looks like we're doing okay money-wise now as well. I don't think we've got anything interesting, no. 
to build. So that is the extent of our hospital. That's all we really need. What if we're going to have an emergency? Oh, look, we've got a cash grant. And our reputation is getting even better. Oh, someone wants some more money. That's fine. Of course we can. So now I think we're probably doing the final. Well, yeah, we just got to wait to cure some patients. And then we are done with this first level. Obviously, we are very good at... We're getting pro at theme hospital, aren't we, guys? Spending all this time playing it. But yes, I've got to say, the, the writing is a little small. For me, who has lost their glasses. I feel like such an old person saying this. Yes, I need my glasses to relook at my screen. Because they're quite far away at the minute. I'm not at my desk. While I'm building these, while I'm filming these route, I'm sitting at the dining room table. <laughs> filming this because, as you probably found, heard in like some of my other videos, I don't know where this one's going to fall with everything. We're having our bathroom done, so, well, we're going to be having it done while when this video goes out. So, all the bathroom bits and pieces are upstairs in our spare bedroom slash study. And so we brought our computers down to our dining room, so we could still use them. But yeah, there you go. So I'm going to wait until we um, complete this level till we end the episode. I think we're charging too little. We're charging. How do how do we mess with money? How do we do that? Bank manager, statement, research, uh, policy. Um, okay. Don't think that's what I wanted. How do you change my money? Oh, someone's been sick. Clean that up. Um, GP? No, that's just about the queue. Um, how do I change that? Oh, it looks like we're going to be winning this shortly. Policy. No. Money. Research. Oh, look. We can go to the next level. So this is where we'll leave this episode of Theme Hospital. Please like if you enjoyed it. And I hope you're not getting, going to be too upset with the fact that we've moved on from the original game. But it was just getting to be such a pain in the butt to record. So, yeah. So, please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.